Hi guys, welcome back to Grey World TV. We are on a brand new show. Um, I've heard good things about it. Um, I've had it on a watch list for a while. Um, and I was just going to do it personally for me, just for something to watch when I'm not doing this. Uh, but with me cancelling the wire because I just felt I couldn't continue on with the season four storyline being in particular the, the things that it was focusing on is the two things I find the most boring <laughs> so unfortunately as I'm sure you all know now I have decided to call it a day there and pull a new series in so I have no clue what the fuck I'm letting myself in for here this could be good it could be bad I've no idea but we're going to give it a chance so what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to give this a full season and see whether it's my cup of tea or not and for all of you as well I've not seen this pop up pop up on anyone's recommendation list personally but I have seen it around quite a lot and the subject and the storyline seems appealing to me especially as it's all centered around the 80s and just how critical and high tension the cold war was with russia back then um i'm a, I'm a teenager of the 80s where we were always you know we, we were given in when we were in schools we were given instructions and warnings and and um what do you call it given training and practice as to what to do whether it should be an attack particularly nuclear because we were all under a nuclear threat back then um about hiding under desks and everything not that we'd have made a blind bit of difference anyway should we go try it out i know nothing about it so there's nothing else to say so let's go try the pilot episode of the americans episode one at this level there aren't that many people you can trust how do I know you're not making all this up? Oh my God. Okay, you're getting light. <laughs> the sheer number of people working to destroy our way of life. Because... Uh, yeah, time to stop talking. I have no idea. More than likely her. She's good at her job. Brush that off. That was James Bond time. <laughs> the planet for weeks now has come up from behind. Fighting face to face, that's a different story. Which year? Because 64 to 72 are pussies. They didn't even meddle. <laughs> She's in. Third floor, three east. How in the hell did he know? Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Okay, they can both really fight. I don't think you understand how unpopular you are. I could deliver you in a hundred pieces. They give me a separate medal for each one. I don't get what she needed the window for then. Although, it, it went south, didn't it? So. Make it out like you. Police. Well prepared. No, we blew our whole window on the chase. We won't make it. So, Parkway to Bellway. He dies in 50-50. We missed the handoff anyway. No, the mission comes first. I can help you. I can make you rich. Ron, all right. You gotta walk from here. We're trying to surmount any obstacle. Go. It's AIDS, folks. There's no digital IDs and internet and facial recognition. None of that. Minus seven. There's another way, please. They should drop point. Fuck. I'm guessing they're supposed to be on that. I'll tell you one good thing about bank robbers. They speak English. <laughs> they got me in beginning Russian four days a week. Ugh. You got an ear for languages? I've been working with him since he defected. He hasn't been 20 seconds late for anything. Well, where is he coming in from? I don't know. Super secret spies living next door. They look like us. They speak better English than we do. According to Timoshev, they're not allowed to say a single word in Russian once they get here. I mean, come on. 
<coughs> That's a hell of a restraint. Three million is the most valued of the factors. I assume that's him they're talking about. The directorate as officer. Car won't start. We're gonna have to take the bus to the metro. Oh, Dad. Yeah. Mary got two goals and an assist last night versus LA. You know how much they paid that asshole? Three million dollars. Henry was looking for a skateboard. It's not in the garage, is it? Wow, we got a ready-made American family here. You don't have to stay here. He's secure in there. There were witnesses. If they figure it out, I mean, they could be looking for him in a couple of hours. What do you got? I got a female witness. She saw a guy knock the victim down, grab the purse, and run this way. Good place to hear. Is that a meet point? A drop point? Well, I don't know what the fuck that is. That was good to just listen in, though. Was originally to pass him on to whoever was on that boat. But what now? Again? So what have we here? Captain, I did not know you're back. Leave us, I will teach you how we do it in the field. <laughs> yeah. I am sorry, Captain. I'm sorry. Use the contraction. I'm sorry. Watch. Yeah. Remember me, Captain? Social studies, paper on how the Russians cheat on arms control. Hmm. <laughs> That's, uh, Henriksen, right? Yep. Well, her English so is good. So what's the trouble with these guys? Well, Betty and Veronica were posting a charity drive and Yeah. I'm sure he'd be very honored. Go look out the window. I've got a quick question here. They've obviously inserted themselves into posing as the perfect... 2.1 American family. Both of their English is superb. But the children obviously have been raised and taught to speak English. Not American, it's still English. Don't get me started. Um, I'm assuming the children have no idea of their birthright. I.e. they've no idea and have never heard their parents even native tongue. So they just think they are American kids, I'm assuming. I'm already I'm already interested. What we're, we're like 20 minutes in. How can you not like spy stuff, regardless of what it's saying? I prefer it set further back. Have you been Martin? Sixties, seventies, eighties, all of it. Thanks for coming in. Do you swear to tell the truth, whole truth, etc. Cetera, etc.? Cetera? I do. Great. Yes, it was. Obviously, we know most of it, but I just want to hear the details from you because uh, a crisis can provide an opportunity to uh, uncover the leaks that we have been looking for in your office. So just tell me what you saw. I know that a man was kidnapped. He was supposed to speak at a conference this morning, but he didn't show. Well, the man that they kidnapped was Russian. He was someone very important in the KGB, I think. Right. 77 Oldsmobile, gold with DC plates and bumper stickers. Extra agents were sent to surveil the Soviet embassy. Agents went out to all the ports and train stations. Counterintelligence units, they safeguard the security of our nation, Martha. I want you to be a little... What? Stronger, maybe? Know what the KGB is. Um, I've heard of him. <laughs> we should just take care of him ourselves. What's the rush? I want him out of my house. He's putting us all in danger, and they're just going to kill him back in Moscow anyway. Well, if you're that worried about it, maybe we could just affect ourselves. <laughs> At least we'd be millionaires. Hmm? Wouldn't have to worry about going to jail and leaving the kids all alone. Hurt like a bastard to walk in. <laughs> Yeah, you're embarrassing your door. Oh, I like that. 
You dirty bastard. You want to come with me and Dee to shop for makeup after you pay for those? No. <laughs> Errol, no. she's 13. Yeah. 13? I don't know, Daddy. She sure looks ready to me. So long, honey. You'd be in prison today. You're starting to it's, get that attention. It's no use fighting guys like that. Oh, God, I wouldn't want you to. <laughs> what, you think I killed him? <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> Stop. You're my wife. Hmm. Is that right? What are the two oh, agents that were involved? Just for a second to uh, bring over used? brownies and welcome you to the neighborhood. For oh, this. Come in, come in. Oh, thank you. Um, this is my son, Matthew. Hi. Uh, do you know where your father is? Yeah, oh, he's upstairs. Well, do we have visitors already? Uh, yeah, this is Stan. Hey. Phil Jennings. How you doing, Stan? Oh, Beeman. fuck. Uh, my wife, Elizabeth Page Henry. Hi. Matt? Mm. Your mom's a good cook? Yes. I do. What do, what do you do, Stan? I'm an FBI agent. So he's FBI? FBI. Wow, what, what do you catch, bank robbers and stuff? Actually, I work in counterintelligence now. Make sure I don't do any spying around here. <laughs> oh, no, you better not. <laughs> Especially for those Russians. Oh yeah, they're the, they're the worst, right? <laughs> oh, they certainly are full of them. Or they're onto us. It and could be why. seen that way. The end game. They're, they're trying to make us do something stupid. Either way, we get rid of Tim the chef tonight. Look, maybe this is an opportunity. Maybe this is the perfect time for us just to think about living the life we've been living, but just really living it. Just, we are Philip and Elizabeth Jennings. We have been for a very long time. So why don't we get ahead of this for Timoshev? Three million for us. We just get relocated, take the good life, and be happy. You want to betray our country? Well, after everything we've done, I don't think it's such a betrayal. Closet space. Is that know. what you care about? No, I care about everything. Not the motherland. I do, but our family comes first. I said Mother Russia. So Paige and Henry. Uh, We'd have a great exactly life with them plan? because we would have money. They don't have to be regular Americans. They can be socialists. They're not going to be, be socialists. This place activists. doesn't turn out this socialists. Would, just talking about, there would be no future for any of us. They would kill us all. They'd never find us. They <gasps> would never you find us. Have you looked at our trunk? kids? Wouldn't they just take you out? Wow. Okay, we've got posing sides here. A backstory on how these two weren't put together or ended up together. 62. Okay. Colonel. Philip, I'd like you to meet Elizabeth. Yeah, those. So. Elizabeth. This is Philip. Philip and Elizabeth's lives. Not the other ones. Those should never be discussed. If you don't know any other story, Elizabeth, you'll be less likely to make a slip one day if there is no other version of this man you're hiding away in the back of your mind. Set your mind and your whole life into what this is going to be and what it's going to become and that you have to be with someone, pretend to be with someone that you weren't romantically involved with. and Because two agents involved with each other would be a betrayal to Russia as it is, wouldn't it? So it's oh, never going to be that. County liaison, Thursday night, male Caucasian, 5'10", knife wound to the stomach. Let me knock. You're supposed to check oh, badge number first. He expired that night. Okay, thank you. Fuck, he's dead. You know, we got this real shit storm brewing. Looks like I'm going to be working seven day weeks for the foreseeable future. He's still fucking in the Delta, huh? Me. Yeah. 77? Mm-hmm. I wanted the coupe, she wanted the sedan, so... GM can't make these fast enough, huh? Yes, yeah, great car. Also, the APB you would have put out on the attack. You weren't, oh, uh, <laughs> tempted by one of those Japanese upstarts, huh? I don't think I'd fit in one. No! Oh, right. fuck! Thanks. You bet. <laughs> yeah, my bank robbery assignment the last three years, I was undercover. Undercover with who? A white supremacist group out of southern Arkansas. 24 principals currently awaiting trial. Um, Tim wow. Michelle, sir, when you're betrayed by one of your own, I would bet the Russians would go to considerable lengths to get him back there so they can look him in the eye before they blow his brains out. 
I would just follow my regular routine. He's following. Keep him there until the heat died down. Well, if he's at somebody's house, we're never going to find him. Nope. No, I wouldn't think so, sir. Listen. Ah! Ah! Such a pain in the ass. Fuck. I'm trying to make a deal. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, fuck. <laughs> How's this going to go? What's going on? Ah. I'm taking him to our neighbor. I'm going to make a deal where you don't have to talk to the Americans if you don't want to, if you think that'll make you a traitor, but you will come with me and the kids. Why can't we do this together? Because I am a KGB officer. And now I'm finishing this. Oh. Oh, that's changed. He's gonna make a move. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> Don't bother. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I never meant to hurt you. They let us have it away with the cadets. It was part of the job. Yeah, I gathered. How did he hurt you? He was authorized to do it. We're giving a free pass. It's that that's done it. Well, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that was to show you that he loves you. <laughs> oh. Right here, though. Perfect. Get rid of the body. Does she still need to be unsure about him? Normally I'm not a fan of extended love scenes, but I don't mind this play. <laughs> yeah, gotta make her look presentable now. To that fight. Barry. It's too swollen to hide. But how about you? Good, thanks. Whoa, what happened to your neck? Oh, shaving. Two band-aids? What are you, a butcher? I gotta change my blades more often. Got me an all-American family with kids and showing signs that you've had your shit kicked high. <sighs> I mean, there's something a little... Oh, there's something a little bit off about him, maybe, but I think he's a good guy. Disguise. Girls, I'll be back. I'll stick that in your heart. That was awesome. The American people have elected a madman as their president. He makes no secret of his desire to destroy us. You reported several times over the years about Philip. Can we trust him? I'm fighting now against comrades in our own organization who are starting to act like they did in our darkest days. The orders are going to change now. The risks are going to be greater. Your comrade who died was a hero. Our deceased John Doe from Arlington Methodist is proving very difficult to track down. The Attorney General and I have just come from the White House. President Reagan is outraged that the KGB thinks it can kidnap someone with impunity on American soil, authorizing the Federal Bureau of Investigation and Counterintelligence Office to take all necessary measures to neutralize Soviet Director at S. Sleeper Cell agents in the continental United States. So why didn't you tell me about Timoshev? We aren't supposed to talk about our other lives. Did Things you know? Things to change, Philip. It's gonna get uglier. More dangerous. I was born in Smolensk. My father died fighting the Nazis at Stalingrad when okay. I was two. My mother was a bookkeeper for the local party committee. My name is... was... Nadezhda. <laughs> Thank you. 65. They've been here since 65. He's right, they've been doing this a long time. At least 15 years. Is it cold air? Yeah. 
it has to grow somewhere, doesn't it? If you're I'm not ready. Pull this off. No, not yet. They'll expect us to have children eventually. Or I don't know. Maybe you just maybe you just don't find me attractive. I don't know. When you see it, it just seems brighter. There's a weakness in the people. I can feel it. I really like the look of this. I've enjoyed this. This opening pilot episode has been very good. This guy will go, regardless of what his wife said, this guy will go off his experience. Checking the license plates, because it's the same make and colour of the car that was reported. This is going to be fun, because I don't know what side to be on, if any. <laughs> I'm trying to just stay unbiased to this, but... Good job they got rid of him, though. Otherwise, he'd still be there. It's not like it was a blood-soaked body in there. All right, then. Is that it? Okay, guys. Um, episode one of The Americans. What do you think? I know not a lot of people have watched this, but, you know, I enjoyed homeland so much and of course it was it's set a lot closer to our present but spy stuff in particular can be from any any period really especially in the last 60 70 80 years so the fact that we're doing it with the the cold war um i don't even know as I mentioned in commentary, I don't know if I should be on anybody's side here. Should be on the American side, should be on the, <laughs> the Russian side, or should I try to stay unbiased? Or should I just, just enjoy it for what it is and just, you know, I don't want them to get caught when the FBI's looking at them, but I don't want the FBI to lose men when they're... It, it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult because they're setting the, the show up for us to accept these two as our protagonists and for everything that America stands for to, to be the enemy. <laughs> um, and that discussion the general just had with her at the safe house there about how they're going to have to start to step things up because of Reagan's disarmament plans and everything. I mean, of course, them not knowing that the real downfall that's to come a few years further down the line is going to be something pretty much completely unrelated that you end up doing to yourself. But that's in the future. None of us could have known it. Um, I'm speaking in particular about Chernobyl because um, that was one of the biggest factors that helped bring down the ended Russia, really. Um, anyway, so... <sighs> I was wondering as we started this, you know, the, I don't see how there's any way it's going to have been two Russian KGB agents that have got involved with each other, that they've gone, let's pair these up properly and ship them off to America and have them be spies because that's going to be the easiest transitionary way of making a convincing all-American family. No. No, it is exactly what it is. They've just met in a room, arrived here in 1965, and this is where they are now. So they've been doing this for quite some time. I mean, that's that's commitment. But he's wavering. He, ha I mean, he's wavered here, hearing about how much money they could get from the FBI if they were to defect, and her former captain as to why he did not necessarily why he did what he did, but the fact that he was pretty much given a, a free pass to be able to do that to recruits. Him not knowing, because she's never revealed it, and now she's also starting to reveal her past lives, which is meant to be forbidden. I see there being a lot of storyline, not just on what their missions or, or things that is that they've to accomplish or what it is they've, they've to gain intel on but the struggle and the the commitment that these two still need to remain together to keep each other mainly him she she is totally utterly committed she's already said i will die for 
Mother Russia, I don't care. Point being here this long, it would it must be very hard for anybody to move to a foreign land, especially coming from what their country is to America and how different it is and how much more open and free and like you said, you know, <clears throat> electricity and air conditioning and all, all, all the great American dream that they tell everybody about. And to not think I could have this if I just let my former life go and betray my country. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm not going to delve too deep into the opening episode yet because... I'm sure there's a lot more to come. I hope we do keep getting the little bits of flashbacks back to the 60s and everything. Like we've got two or three clips there as to pretty much how these two ended up together. A little bit of her past. We don't really know anything of his yet. Um, and then the FBI guy moving into the neighborhood, already being suspicious, him already being on top of it, knowing He's already suspecting him because he's already thinking that this is, that they're already onto them, that this has been placed here to keep an eye, but because they're not entirely certain, which isn't what it is, as far as I'm aware, but he doesn't know that. It's got to be played that he, that they can't make a single error here. He even picked up on the fact with the shave, you know, with the shaver cut on his neck. What, two plasters for a shaver cup? What the fuck were you using? <laughs> you know, you can't... You can't drop the ball. They cannot drop the ball at all. And they've got two kids here who have no clue. I'm really happy that they cut back to the guy from the mall <laughs> with the teen, young teenage girls. He, he just had that coming. His disguises are pretty good too. Right. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know down in the comments what you think of it. Um... So I'm, I'm in for this for at least the first season, at least. But if it continues the way it is, I'm on board for all of it. And it's, it's quite a long series. Uh, which Homeland was too? That was a very, very long, drawn out, spy, detective, whatever kind of show you want to put it in, which you want to put it in a genre. Um, and it was over like nine, ten seasons, and a lot of it was slow burn. I'm expecting this to be, a lot of this could be slow burn, but I'm on board for it. I'm not going anywhere. Don't plan to. So, um, by all means, please join me for episode two next week. But I want to hear what you guys think of it, and we'll take it from there. Right, see you for episode two next week, and I will check out all the comments on the opening episode when it gets released. I will have recorded episode two by then, but I will keep my eye on what you guys seem to think of this show. Um, so until then, guys, see you for episode two. Take care. Don't.